this is my girlfriend. Hey, babe. Hey, I'm just doing an interview right now, but they, the question was, how good are my laundry skills? What would you give it from a, from a scale of 1 to 10? Uh, zero. Wait, one more time? Say that again. <laughs> I would rate that a zero. <laughs> <laughs> Love you. <laughs> my laundry skills? From a, from a number between 0 and 10, I would give myself a negative 1. Um, <laughs> What do I, what's my good part of my laundry skills? I'm good at folding. So the laundry part of it, maybe not the best, but organizing a closet, I'm actually very good at that. I'm a recondo that stuff. You know, the color coordinated, folded nicely, organized. I'll, that's the part I do. See, if laundry was outside, I probably would do it more often because I love the outdoors. I love being outside. So yeah, yeah, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed being outside and the fresh air and the fresh detergent smell, the clean. I feel like you can tell a lot about a person by the smell of their detergent, right? You know what I mean? Like if you smell it and you go, hmm, they use that detergent, hmm. And it, it, it is actually kind of interesting. You, there is a, there's a, an association with that detergent smell. In fact, this detergent for this photo shoot took me back to when I first moved to Los Angeles, first moved to America. I lived in England, so the detergent was a different, had a different fragrance. And so this smell, I was like, whoa, I'm back in my apartment when I first moved here to be on Dancing with the Stars. What I've learned about myself this year is that I'm okay not to be busy. <laughs> like it's, I love being busy, I love being active, I love just always working. But this year, it was one of those moments where I was like, it's actually okay, I can actually just relax and be home and do chores and do arts and crafts. Yeah, it just, it just kind of taught me to, to just relax a little bit, honestly, yeah. During this time, I actually learned how to edit uh, videos more, you know, and, and my girlfriend and I, we would do some projects, some dances and some fun things for television, and we like edit them together ourselves. And um, so that was fun, and also cooking, also kind of cooking with my girlfriend as well. We'd, she would start cooking, and I got a little bit of FOMO. I was like, okay, well, let me go in there and let me, like uh, cook with her, and you know, clean the dishes. And I was like her sous chef. Yeah, ten years, man. What am I doing? You know, in ten years, obviously, there's like financial goals, there's family goals, you know, with kids and and, and everything. Uh, but also, too, for me, it's it's been one of those things that's been on, like my my mind as well. Like, where do I want to like settle? You know, where do I want to settle in? Like, is it is it California? Is it Los Angeles? Or is it somewhere else? Like, that's another thing that's been interesting too about quarantine. Is it, or this year, is it kind of made you think, okay, do I need to be here? Or do I, can I be somewhere else? Or sh do I want to be somewhere else? And is that, it's an interesting question, you know? And so, yeah, I don't know. I have 10 years, who knows? Like, I'm, I'm wondering, where will I end up being? Like, where will I live? And, but I'll have kids by then, that's for sure. Thank <laughs> you.